Hello, there, greetings from the Friends of Humanity. I do apologize I do not have talking animated 3D character to this video, but rather be simple and basic with one of my recent drawings, is that it takes too much time to render, and the video gets scrutinized negatively and the message which I have to share, assumed rather than understood. The topic of this video is about the anti-ET agenda, racism, discrimination and fascism and its relationship with earthling racism, fascism and discrimination, about hybrids, and hybrid program part of the life cycle of sentient beings, I am just stunned at how people think about ETs ETs are people and people are ETs. Just some have been locals longer than others on planet Earth. I had been surprised by the large amount of hatred that been thrown at me in response to the video exposing the deception of the allies of humanity, it is anti-extraterrestrial hate propaganda. I had put a lot of time and effort into the video, even if I did include some background third-party visuals, to give the video more effect, and to express my message across. First of all, I had never known so much hatred on YouTube, then the time I stood up for a friend, who had been trolled, and even been given cyberbullying. This time it was mostly from people who support the hatred against extraterrestrials who support allies of humanity. As I have mentioned, that the word ally is distant and only used for to support borders and boundaries, it is a formal, a hard and cold term often used in context on this planet and associated in grouping up the industrial military complex. Friends are more appropriate, than ally, since the word ally is formal, and friendship is friendly, my dream, is to see this planet a friendly zone to all people of the of this planet, galaxy, universe and beyond. I would like to thank the Starseed, Cosmic and Extraterrestrial Friendly Community for understanding what I had to say, these Straseeds.net, Extraterrestrials.ning, and Cosmoseeud.us. I would also like to thank most of my Raelian friends as well those who think and understand and have empathy, and the other hybrids like myself, who are here and are in the same boat. Then having someone contacting G4S security to my flat, to check my gas and electric and play on the fact I don't know much about things as being a hybrid, how low can you get? I am no harm, but you make me appear that I am harmful, then having to experience abuse, discrimination from random casuals off the street discriminating me on the grounds of being intersexed? This is evident that Allies of Humanity is a fascist organization, which sits behind a false curtain of false love and peace, just like most religions and political agendas. The G4S security callout was a giveaway to what I had originally suspected, that is it being a propaganda mechanism for a proposed false flag fake alien invasion. Reading your forums and stuff was rather disturbing. Peace and firearms don't work together my friends. You can't fight fire with fire, you would only but repeat history. Violence in candy-coated fake love is sadistic. First of all extraterrestrial intervention will most likely happen but cannot fully guarantee it, since the future is not fixed in stone, but how it will happen depends on the statistical mindset of all people on this planet, this includes everyone, even myself. The reasons of intervention is strongly based on the survival of all life on this planet, that it most likely would cease to exist from all the radiation contamination from Fukushima nuclear power plant within the next 30 or 20 years depending on if something gets done. From observing things, very little has been done, there has been some attempts where scientists secretly have experimented on trying to neutralize the radiation with ARP, the results is unknown, and nothing has been shared to the public about this. Then governments in general in all affected countries are censoring test results and information about contamination, where in the media they have been focusing on economics, wars and other stupid things, thus making the last 30 years of our lives unpleasant as they can. 
Earth people have been through the ages being programmed with propaganda politically and religiously, just the tools and mechanisms of doing it has evolved. Racism and fascism has been a strong point which the elite minority use to control the people of this planet. They make see yourselves as masses and not unique individuals with unique potential and talents, unique to your genetic codes. Allies of humanity reflects this, due to the evident racial responses towards certain extraterrestrials that racially identified as being reptilians or greys. Extraterrestrials that visit, work on the evolutionary biological processes on this planet comprise of diversity. Nature loves diversity but society hates it, is evident with local Earth society, this is enforced generalization on a certain humanity identifies as a certain way. This makes you no better than the Nazis in the Second World War, which would only give you an excuse to kill or to commit genocide to a specific group of people. People on this planet is of great diversity of culture and ethnics, so is the galaxy, the universe and beyond. To project hatred towards a certain ethnic star nation makes you appear as monsters, not the ethnic labeling of the extraterrestrials you have in question. It is the same what I have observed in South Africa, black people are bad and dangerous, because they are black. This mindset is stupid and ignorant and sad. Then I state again, how can an extraterrestrial humanity invade local Earth humanity to exploit the planet and its resources when they are capable of creating life, loving diversity as well able with their technology to replicate almost every object that exists in the universe with nanotech sequencers or matter replicators, which do exist your planet. Why would the creators of humanity who created life in, in a system development life cycle form of evolution would want to destroy it or exploit it? This is obvious that that so-called message originated from some man on this planet and not from the far reaches of the galaxy, because that Earth man had never gone where no Earth man has gone before. The hybrid program, is a program of Earth humanity receiving updates and improvements to its existing genetic code adding more diversity from more diverse star systems, in the development of human consciousness and intellectual growth. It has been going on for 100s of years. People mistook the extraterrestrials as god or gods. When there is the intervention of extraterrestrials, Earth humanity would become part of the galactic community, and as well contribute their creativity, inspiration and ideas to new intelligent life, not only that, also their genetic codes, and will be so-called abducting other people on developing planets, with the existing creators and contributors to life here on this planet. They would be your children, like we are their children. Everyone on this planet is an extraterrestrial hybrid, just some of us have a bit more new star genes than others. In some cases, it is said that even some of the genes of this humanity has been used in the development of intelligent life on other planets younger than the life on this planet Earth. This is all part of the cycle of life. Life just did not evolve on its own only on the basis of natural selection, without tweaking. Selective selection and genetic engineering from scientists and artists from different star systems. The extraterrestrials are willing to help and dream of welcoming all the local people of Earth openly to the galactic family. So please stop the anti-extraterrestrial hate for the sake of the survival of humanity, as well for the development of intelligent life across the universe and beyond. Much love and huggles, Namaste.